Hi Maker, it's Mel. Today I'm here in the Maker Studio with the wonderful Carrie Murphy, the founder and CEO of Inspired Living. They teach you how to use video to grow and expand your business. I've got a few questions for you today. All right, um, give I'm, them to me. <laughs> the first one is what can makers do at home um, to really establish some depth and some good quality interest to their scene? I love this question because it's one we get a lot as well and it's really important and it doesn't have to be expensive. So let's just take this island for a minute. What do you think, Mel? What, three feet at least? It's about three or four feet from the wall actually from these shelvings over here and I can show you. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> so think about depth of field. Believe it or not, you don't want to be just up against a wall. That's not very interesting. So we usually tell our clients to actually make at least three to five feet be behind them, or you can kitty corner a chair or a stool to give that depth of field as well if you don't have that much space. So I want you to think about how do I create interest and that isn't just up against a wall, right? We want to create depth of field. So Carrie, I know a lot of people at home are probably wondering, how do I light my space. Yes. Can you tell us a little bit about that? I can. Lighting is so important. You can do all the other things, but if you have poor lighting or poor sound, your credibility goes down. Mm -hmm. So notice here, and I love that you get to see, like the lighting that we have in this studio. So we have the main light here, which they call is our key light, making sure our skin tone is nice and angel-like. <laughs> we have our backlights. Mm -hmm. And then one of the things that most people don't consider is actually the background light mm -hmm. that creates the depth of field we were just talking about. So this can be a simple Amazon light. It can be a lamp behind you, but something that creates space mm -hmm. and differentiation between you and the background. So three-point lighting, it can be as simple as finding a window with some beautiful natural light. You add some white shears to that and the diffusion is gorgeous. Mm -hmm. But again, a ring light and then get another fill light because you don't want to be lit just on one side. And then again, maybe some other ancillary lights that help pop up the space and highlight what you're doing. So another important thing to look out for is the rule of thirds. Mm -hmm. I know this is a very important concept in design. Carrie, can you tell us about that and using it in our set? Yes, actually interior design was my very first business. So that's where I learned the law of thirds and it translates to building a set perfectly. So if you think about it, if you're in a chair or maybe in a bar stool and you're sitting next to a table or a counter, never have more than three things on it. How many times do you watch a video that is full of bookshelves or books or frames and you're wondering, <laughs> What is behind there? Yeah. So we want to keep the focus on you, the person on camera. Now notice here in this Makesy studio, they're good at what they do. There's three things right here. Notice different colors and different shapes. We wouldn't want three of the same height, right? So you want to change up your shapes. And then even with their vessels here, there's no more than three. That is the law of thirds. Keep it simple and notice that nothing here has labels or anything on it that would be distracting. It is simple, it is on brand, and it keeps the focus on us. Amazing. Those were such great tips, Carrie. I know I learned a lot and I'm so excited for you to implement these things at home. Carrie, where can we learn more about these things? Oh, thank you so much, Mel. We have a whole B Studio Ready guide that goes over all the things we just covered and so much more. It's absolutely free. You can go snag it right now at inspiredliving.tv. Now that you know how to set your scene at home and how to create the best impact for your brand, it's time for you to go make that happen. That's right, go make it happen.